everybody welcome back to the channel and another episode of backyard bandits so between episodes we did a couple things first of all we added a couple points to our pilots here so arachne we added at one point to tactics to give her minus one indirect fire, fire penalty to help with the uh, lrms uh, earthquake who hasn't been doing anything gained enough uh, i believe to get gunnery up one point um, we're going to put him in the trash can today uh, hopper as you can see gained the bandit skill um, so increased critical chance strike plus four to cl clustering roll modifi modifiers and called shot modif multiplier so that's kind of cool uh, hot shot we had enough to get one point up from one of these and I, I chose piloting to give the plus one unsteady threshold just to help out if he's going to be doing meleeing stuff that's really going to help out um, and queen Bree, I brought her guts up by one and scramble has an, it doesn't quite have enough points yet to get anything but uh, she hasn't been doing any fighting so uh, Queen Bee's threes across the board now, and then we're gonna have a look at the mech bay. We got the uh, trash can back, and I was just thinking too, as I just started this episode up and getting ready for today, uh, I thought that what we might try and do is switch the loadouts between the Gladiator and the Urban Mech, and maybe have the Urban Mech run a pair, of, the pair of large lasers, if I can get it to work, and then move the ERPPC into the Gladiator with a couple medium lasers. Because if this guy's going to be stepping on people, it'll be a good chance to dissipate the heat. Whereas with the urban mech, most likely won't be doing anything between having to recycle heat. So at least with a pair of larges, it can go a little little longer in firing. So that's my thought. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So now those pair of SRM sixes we got yesterday, rather than putting them in the fire bee, I dropped them into the dervish. The fire bee, I would have to lose the jump jets to do that. I didn't want to do that. So I lost the jump jets off of the dervish. They weren't really helping out. So I managed to put two SRM6s in. I took out the half ton of LRM ammo that we had in here and a little bit of armor I took off in order to get squeeze in the two SRM6s re replacing the SRM4s and I put in a regular ton of SRM ammo or sorry the inferno ton of SRM ammo in here as well. So if we're in close we can just turn off the LRMs, fire the SRMs and we can use inferno ammo against vehicles and regular ammo against mechs or we can use the inferno to help out Queen B one or the other. Um, so that's this guy and then what do we do here? Uh, the fire B ended up getting the pair of SRM4s, one on each arm now in order to do that I didn't want to sacrifice mo the mobility because this was going to be a couple of extra tons so what I had to do is I dropped the engine core slightly uh, we had to go down to five jump jets but we maintained the jumping capability uh, we added a pair of SRM 4s and a regular ton of SRM ammo uh, so we have a little less mobility we dropped about I think it was 27 no 20 33 kilometers an hour from maximum speed so we lost a little bit of speed uh, but we've also gained the ability to fire a lot more missiles do a lot more damage uh, so I'm hoping this works out I know we were warming up pretty much last time but we'll have to see how it goes this time now uh, as far as the contracts goes uh, I was right so once the end of the month happens looks like the contracts change so if you go to the command center the missions have changed which is cool because now we got a, a nice little we can stay on this planet all we want I guess every month um, but we're gonna go ahead and take a smugglers mission today a destroy base at one and a half skulls to see how we do the uh, uh, salvage is right for this so we're gonna go ahead and do this we might do trap sprung later on but I think right now we're gonna try this go after the salvage and of course full salvage and accept it and we want to bring in uh, let's leave the gladiator at this time and bring in the urban mech. I want to bring in Earthquake with the urban mech and see how we do. Um, I know the Gladiator's got the two large lasers for longer range, but I want to test out the fire fire bee. We we already kind of know the Gladiator is going to be okay, but I want to test out the fire bee with the new SRM4s to see what kind of heat we're getting, see how fast we can move and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and deploy these guys and get this done. Oh, they're dropping us right on the base. Oh, man. Uh, what do we got? Who and where? Okay, we got a hornet on our side. 
looks like the turrets are like right here. Okay, we got a turret here. We're at the edge of the map too. Standard LRM turret. Point defense. Dual mortar. I think the mortar's got to go more than anything. What do we got on our side? A ghost. Hornet. That's us. Uh, we should have two more guys with us, shouldn't we? So they got separated. Yes, oh man. Um. Yeah, we got to kill this turret fast. So uh, we can just go ahead and target it if we want. But we are in line of sight of nobody else. So let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and target it. We're not in the line of sight of anybody. So we can just go ahead and fire everything on this guy. We're not generating that much heat. I guess because we're not moving, but... Well, that's a significant damage upgrade. Come on, man. Shoot that turret. Beautiful. Blow up. Nope. Nope. Alright, Hopper. Um, let's go with Hopper first. Can we get into a position to crack on one of these other turrets? Not really, although we could just... Twenty percent, eh? Um, now, from what I understand, Inferno does more damage against the turrets. So, yeah. All right, a little bit. Commander. Okay, B. Let's move down here. See if we can clear out this turret and leave the rockets off for now. Ooh, not quite enough. That's gonna hurt. What's up, boss? What's up? That's what's up. What's our heat like? Uh, not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thought it was gonna be a lot higher than that. But we never moved, so that could be it, too. Okay, here comes their defenders. Enemy structure damage Oof. Light damage. Holding firm. Everybody's illuminated. Yeah. They're spraying us with fluorescent paint. Okay, let's get rid of that mortar. Um, we should probably move, I guess, this time. Can get a line of sight on the turret. Let's just turn this way. Man, the firing arc on this thing is amazing. Let's go ahead and shred this turret. Yeah, AMS that. Ooh, double heat sink kit on the turret. Okay, uh, Hopper. Let's move, buddy. Standard Lerm turret. Let's drop some incendiary on this guy. Okay, strip some of the armor anyway. Okay, buddy, I want to see what you can do here. Lame's on the way. Let's not do that. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, what? What? Location confirmed. All right, let's have a look at this guy. Wheeled APC is probably fast. Yeah, well, not doing that. Come on, target the building. Come on. 
Let's just fire on this medium building here. Yeah, the heat's really starting to crank up now. It's not bad though, I mean... We got about three turns of firing before we got to cool off a bit. Alright B, um, let's just get into here for now. Let's shred up this medium building here. Um, that'll be more than enough, I think, to kill this building. Yep. Okay, this is heavy wheeled APC. Mark II. With a flamer. Okay. I think we got a little bit of movement in there. Oh, a goblin. Medium tank. Okay. Looks like we've only got two uh, guys with us this time. Somebody with a good shot, too. Wow, the urban mech goes before everybody else. How's that? Oh, I forgot. This guy's... So the quirk has got 360 degree firing arcs. It doesn't matter which way you position yourself. You can shoot at everybody around in a circle. And it was the one thing I was hoping for on this mech. Put him on a street corner, man. That's what this thing's for. Okay, two misses. Brilliant. Yeah, but it's still sheer brilliance, man. Three hundred and sixty degree fire and arc. Let's get into here. Now, who who do we have a better shot on here? Twenty. Let's just switch back to regular for going after vehicles. Save the incendiary for turrets. Let's just go after this guy. I'm going to leave the mediums off because we're having problems with overheating and not being able to move. Okay. Might as well bring you out front. And everything on this guy. Okay, not bad. Go after this turret. Ooh, we still got a lot of armor left. Let's use the rockets on it. Yeah, not very much. Out of SRM. Not very impressed with those rockets. Oh, I oh, we got Inferno going. Okay, never mind. Ow. So no matter how hard we're working here, Canopian inf uh, influence is actually increasing on the planet. It was at 40% the last time I checked. It started off around 20-something percent. So uh, the less the less active we are, the more they're um, infiltrating the planet. And hopefully, I mean, not hopefully, but at some point they're going to flip the uh, planet. Ow. Uh, I got on those turrets. Hmm, a whole lot of nothing, eh? Hmm. Okay, let's do this. And let's go ahead and target you or you. It's both the same. Now this guy is significantly damaged on the one side, which we might still be able to hit. We're going to be heating up bad though. Of 
We'll do a little more damage with these, but we'll hit more with these. So let's go this route. All right, few few side hits. Probably slowing his ass down too. All those propulsion hits. I've got your back. I want you to have my front, buddy. Let's get into here. Target the vehicle. About the same damage. Let's just use these. Alright, B. Um, I only want to see the turret. Get that into a good range. Jumping. Vigilance. Going after this guy again. All Inferno. Okay, good damage. Okay. This is what? That's a turret, right? That's a turret. And then this guy is the Predator Tank Destroyer LBX. Okay. Here I was thinking I wasn't going to get any L any more LBX stuff. And what's there? An LBX friggin' vehicle. Or LBX uh, vehicle, yeah. Let's get into here. Moving to position. Single medium laser. Firing. Okay, nice hit. Okay. On the dervish again, eh? Damage is light. Yep, sure is. Still got tons of armor. Well, I don't have to shoot that guy now. I was thinking about using the SRM fours on or SRM sixes on him. But don't have to do that now. Put it on this guy though. Right here. Beautiful chances to hit. Here it comes. Yeah, I think that swap out was a good idea. <clears throat> Putting the sixes instead of the fours. We've given ourselves a little bit more punch here. Uh, you're cooled off. You don't even need to move, man. Well, you better move because otherwise the turret's going to target you. Um, let's get in the trees. Don't not pl place where these guys can shoot me though, or where you can shoot me. That is large, medium, large. Let's go after the medium building. This will be our second building. I'll let you take care of that building. All right, B. We got enough for a kill shot in this guy. Really great chances to hit. I don't think we got enough for a kill shot though. Gonna have to move. Confirm. Good thing he's LRMs. It's harder to hit us at this close range. One. Nice. That turret is gone. I love Irby's. Did you see that in the front of the uh, the Hornet? I thought that's what it that's what it said, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure. We got a nice clear look at it that time. All right, Opera. Um, let's see if you can move to fry one of these turrets. Can we get a direct line of sight, or we are indirect? It looks like we're indirect. So if we're indirect, well, we still got to move. And if we got to move, we better move. I was just thinking of standing there, but it's not going to help us at all. 
Get one Chevron of evasion, hopefully. Yeah. All right, what's this guy got here? Oh, it's the heavy wheel APC. Where's the other turret? Oh, it's in the center of the base. Right. Right. Predator, 25. Not shooting that building. No point in shooting the point defense. Looks like it's this guy. Should have switched to Inferno. Okay, good damage. Oh, well, we killed him. Never mind. Alright, B. Gonna move you back here. And I want you away from that LBX for now. Hopefully finish up this building here. Yep. Yeah, now we got another turret and we got, uh... Oh, this turret doesn't seem to be firing its point defense. What's the point of a point defense turret that doesn't fire any point defense? Oh, wait, wait, where was the... There it is. Good to go. There it is. It's ballistic. Really? I wonder if it's uh, on itself only. Let's fire everything on it. Not that it matters. Had an AMS, but it wasn't working. Talk to me. That's bizarre. Talk to me. Uh, let's switch to incendiary. Affirmative. Okay, good start. Incendiary rams are out, you mean? Got it. Okay, drop our heat. Oh, he's using slug. That's scary. Come on, buddy, get over there. Commander. Let's not be where he can see us. Let's see how that bonus to indirect fire is helping you out now. Yeah, a little bit. Here it comes. Couple points. It's worth it. As much as I want to move uh, the fire bee in here, I'm not going to take a chance. That guy's using slug. It's 100 damage. Let's force this guy to move out. 28% chance. We do have that indirect fire uh, fire control system in here, so it helps us out a little bit. I don't know. Do we take the shot? No. Let's just stay here for a second. <laughs> I'm worried about that guy one-shotting us. I guess he can't move from there. It's a better move not to not to risk it. That hornet can get shredded really, really easily. Yes, Manda. Uh, where are you? Come on, buddy. There you go. Just keep dropping stuff on him. He's not moving. We don't need to get close. We got the ammo for this, so 43% now. It's getting shredded. Take that as a lesson. Commander. Well, we're we were here to see how well this thing does. I know it's a bad idea, but you know, hey, it's me. Crap. All right, Queen Bee's got to get in the battle now. we got to try and kill this guy. We don't have the ability to get in. Oh, we do. Just barely. 
All right, fire it all. Fingers crossed. Nope. Might as well hit where he's armored. Well, there goes the PPC. <laughs> it was overheating anyway. We got to figure out something now. <laughs> Jesus. I go against my own advice. Oh, well. So, those, them's the breaks, man. Can't say I'm not having fun. Of course, the pilots aren't having fun. But I think it's hilarious. Not quite enough. You know, Good to go. crazy thought. Uh, maybe we go and um, put the LBX-20 on this thing. I mean, it'll be slow as hell. By. Let's not be around when this guy fires again. <laughs> I learned from my my obvious mistake. Talk to me. There was no point in moving in, but I thought, what the hell, we give it a shot. Come on, kill this guy. Bye. Still going. That. Nope. Alright, there it is, folks. Could you imagine dropping in on that base in the last series? and they had like three lances plus turrets and we were like right in the center of the base that would have been massive chaos that battle would have been just insane alright well he lost the Arab MX arm well not much we can do about it now another LBX AC-20 large laser let's take the large laser to replace the PPC now mortar that's uh, comes under a missile doesn't it or is it specific now? We don't really have anything we can use this on. Seven tons is pretty weighty. Um, ooh, 270 core. I'm going to put that in because that's an option. Also, in case one of our main guys loses the uh, the core. Uh, we want the slug ammo. Flare mortar, half ton. Inferno. That's an interesting proposition. It's seven tons though. What do we? Where do we put that? I mean, in order to use it, I'd have to take. We'd have to have a dedicated mech for it. I don't think at this point we're able to do that though. I mean, we could put an pull an LRM twenty off of. This is only a mortar of six though. Ten damage. Times six. We could pull an LRM twenty off. But the max damage on the LRM-20 is like 100. Heavy Flamer. I mean, we could use this on... 15 Heat. could use this on the Gladiator, too. Let me think about that, because we could pull one of the... Uh, flamer ammo. Now, how many rounds is that? 20 shots. That's pretty good. Right, we put one of the larges, and we put this in. It's only one ton. Or we pull the ER. I don't know. Pull something off. Um, what else? We got some space, so let's grab the mortar six, and then let's grab um, regular mortar ammo. Probably it's AOE, and there's. 40 shots, so a mortar 6, this would give it, what, 6 and a, six and a little bit of turns? Let's just grab it. These are half tons, so we're only going to get 20 shots, right? Yeah, it was just like 3 turns of firing. So, alright, let's go this route. Okay, we got a couple of mediums, machine guns, a couple of cores, fuel cells we can sell, IC we can sell, cockpits and sensors we don't need anymore, heat sinks vital because we're running low on heat sinks. Got some more LBX ammo, beautiful, and we got the fl oh we got the mortar ammo too. That was a good roll. That was a really good roll. Yeah, fifty-two thousand. Yeah, well, it's the Urban Mag. What can we do, right? It's a good thing we don't have a lot of expensive components on these guys.
All right, let's do it. Uh, doesn't really matter. Let's just do it this way. Um, okay, so I am going to get stuff uh, repaired. Um, you notice here that we got the Argo upgrade, upgraded, upgraded lounge. We've already got the main lounge. Working on getting that done, and then we'll probably get into some repair and refit here. Uh, gonna hold off on this for a while because once we go ahead and do this, we're gonna have a major uh, increase. 100,000 in our monthly outlay. Right now we're at 305,000, which is really nothing. And I want to make sure we've got a lot of good gear before and we're able to pull off more missions before we go ahead and do that. All right. So I'm going to end this uh, this episode here. I'll get them actually repaired and refit for the next time around. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.